So how is algebra used in nursing? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and we're here to tackle that topic right now. Now, there's actually quite a bit of math used in nursing, and here are just a few examples as to where you might actually use it, whether it be mathematics or a little more involved algebra. Now, for starters, it's very important that in nursing, you really have a strong understanding and grasp of ratios, proportions, and percentages. Now, that's because oftentimes there's, you're not going to work with whole numbers all the time in nursing. In fact, more often than not, much more often than not, you'll be working with parts of fractions or fractions of whole numbers, or, but you're definitely going to work with numbers in between whole numbers. You're not going to work with uh, just ones, twos, or fives, or tens. You're going to be working with a lot of decimals and fractions. And it's really important that you know how to get those ratios and proportions and percents down. It goes without saying that in nursing, measurement is used often. You have to measure blood levels, urine levels, drip rates, um, the, the amount of a drug to give to a patient, etc. Measurement is a very critical part of nursing. Dimensional analysis is also a very critical port, part of nursing. Now, dimensional analysis means converting from one unit to another, depending on what kind of unit that you're looking for. Oftentimes, you're starting with a unit, and if you want to convert to another desired unit, then that's where dimensional analysis comes in. You have to work with fractions, which is what we talked about from the beginning, and you'll work, be working with larger as well as smaller numbers. And that ties in with the last part we're going to be talking about briefly, is that the metric system. Oftentimes, when nursing, you have to convert from pounds to kilograms, from ounces to, let's just say, milligrams, etc., because often the metric system is used very frequently in nursing. So coupled with dimensional analysis, it's very important for those working in nursing to convert from the English units, which is what we're using, to the metric system. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and these are some examples as to how algebra is used in nursing.